what I have to do as an entrepreneur is to separate my personal and professional feelings. So my personal feelings are, are one thing and I am beyond disappointed, but professionally I have to maintain an even keel. We established rules of engagement for our people to talk about the election, when and where to talk about the election and um, give them a safe harbor um, to express their views. And we, we, um, we anticipated um, a major, you know, Biden landslide. We anticipated a Trump upset and we anticipated where we are right now. So we had come up with statements that I sent out this morning based upon where we are right now. So we had prepared in advance for what to say and we will be communicating every day with our employees. But maintaining the even keel and trying to keep my employees engaged, keep the morale up and let them know that I care how they feel is is job one i think understanding that we're all people and we're collectively going through this so for us we're a small team um we have a group text and we try to keep it really light you know before the election we are sending each things about you know the props in california and this and that and now it's a lot of like dog memes and uh just things to try to keep the mood up so i think you know understanding like that everyone's going to be going through things in in entirely different ways and trying to best uh, lead with you know optimism and compassion. Yeah, I think there are sometimes when as a leader you have to project feelings that you might not be feeling. So, you know, for instance, when COVID you know forced us to shut down our San Francisco location and I really had no idea if we we're gonna be able to stay in business, it was really important for me then to show up to my team in a very strong, positive not fearful way because you know people are going to mirror what you're feeling what's happening right now i think is the opposite of that really i think that what's really important for my team to see is my my humanity basically my you know vulnerability and transparency with them about how i'm feeling about this so they don't feel alone in how they're feeling about this don't write the pc thing or the thing that you know just makes that you think you need to write to your team just be real with them because I think that's what's everybody's feeling very raw right now and very um, just sad. And I think giving people space for that, making sure that people know they need to take personal days off, that's absolutely fine. This isn't the time to like rally the troops and, um, you know, do a rally call or anything like that. It's time to give people grace and time to process. Acceptance doesn't mean I like what's going on but it means I take it as it is. I take it as it's happening because we can't control everything that's happening. We certainly can't control what's unfolding this week, but we can control how we take it and how we are with the people around us. There's gonna be a lot of waves and bumps at the surface, but how we engage each moment and help the people around us, that's where we get to co-create with the condition and, and do something useful.